All right. It's now recording day. Uh, I need to record the next part of um, Pokemon Platinum, number 41, actually, about to enter the league. I better check and see who has won that straw poll for our team. You know, because... <laughs> need to actually know who to add to my team, otherwise I'm kind of screwed. Uh, let's have a look here. Straw poll dot me forward slash 15, 7, 8, 3, 0, 8, 3. Alright then. Okay, so here we are. Okay, now we just need to press that results button and we'll find out who is being added to the team. Please, please tell me they've been kind. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Ah, shit. Viewer discretion is advised. What up, Meep Squad? Sarge Light here, and welcome back to the Pokemon Platinum Move Maniac Nuzlocke. With episode 41, the first part in our three, in our, well, finale trilogy. <laughs> As voted for, well, actually it's the second part in our finale quadrilogy is really the way I should put it. Voted for as the way we end the series by you guys. As you know, last time we took on Barry and unfortunately our newest member of the team, Polarizing the Magnezone, fell to a body slam from a Snorlax. There was nothing, I just, I had nothing I could do about that, I'm afraid. But now we have a new team member, as you know by the, um, slightly different intro to this video. Um, I mean, obviously the normal intro was still there, but obviously there's a little bit extra at the beginning, so... Also, I should say before showing you the rest of the team, everyone has been grinded up a bit to compensate for the fact we are going into Elite, uh, Elite Four. I wanted this to be a fair challenge and not just basically where hitting a brick wall. So, I've leveled up everyone accordingly. Um, the peak of the Elite Four, the champion, her, uh, Cynthia, her actual final team member, uh, uh, her ace is level 62, um, which is a bit... I haven't gone up to that, that's not fair. One Mon is at that level because it's laughably weak, I, I know which one you know it is. You know which one it is. The rest of them are kind of in the mid-50s, so Aaron and Bertha should be pretty simple battles because we're over-leveled for them, but then after we get to Flint, things get difficult again. However, introducing you to our team, starting with our new member, Un Un Quadden the Unknown D. A pure psychic type holding the zoom lens because he's slow as balls and has a brave nature, and that's why he met the Salation Ruins at level 30 and level 62. I decided to put him at the same level as Cynthia's ace because he's really weak. Honestly, Unknown is horribly horribly weak it it's only got two i'll show you its stats in comparison to the rest of the team and you'll see what i mean so its stats here 139 hp 112 attack 81 defense it's 97 special attack 78 special defense 71 speed levitate as its ability as i said holding the zoom lines and this is its moveset it has changed since before before it knew metal claw which it still knows it knew Smog, which was Ice type and special and is gone. It knew Hyper Fang, which was Ice type and and physical, which is gone. And it knew Ice Punch, which it still knows. So its now move set is a base 90, 100% accurate Metal Claw. That's physical, 35 PP and Steel type, not bad. We have Fly, our base 100, 75% accuracy Ice type move with 25 PP. It's not the best. But it's the best ice type move I could get him. I wanted to keep ice because although he's quite weak, if he can take one hit, a single hit, he will be perfect for taking out. Well, actually, if, if he can do well against Bertha, he'd be good for her. But really, I'm looking for him to be useful against Cynthia's Garchomp because I know she has one. 
if he can take one hit from it, he can by the way, um, a fly hit, that will probably Oko because it's four times effective, it's basically a base 400 move. Uh, so yeah, base 400 base power. Like 400 base power hitting a <laughs> that 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 well, that would hurt no matter what you are. Um, he also knows Bone Club for some physical stab. He could learn. He could learn things like Psychic and that by a, by a TM, but because his physical attack is higher, I thought I'd stick with that. There was something else he could learn, but I didn't. I pr I would want to have Bone Club. And finally, Ice Punch, which as we know is a fire type move and has a chance to freeze target, also 100% accurate, base 65. So really, his what Zoom went is because he has this move. He's really slow, it's not going to help too much, but it will give him a decent accuracy boost, so if he can take a hit and go second, uh, Fly could deal a lot of damage. Um, again, hopefully he'll do well, but he might not see much battle, even though he's overleveled, he... <sighs> I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So you've got Unun Quadden here, right? Level 62, highest level on the team. Next to him is, oh, we'll go to the lowest level on the team, which is Plasma. So you've got Odin Quadden, okay, 139 HP, 112 attack, 81 defense, 897 special attack, 78 special defense, 71 speed, level 62. Now we go to Plasma, who's Rotom, literally better in everything. His lowest stat is higher than, his, than so at level 54, so 8 levels lower, more HP, more defense, more special attack, more special defense, and more speed. The only thing he doesn't have is more attack. But I think, nah, nah, it's not because he's a jolly nature, he just has a low attack set. So that's the only thing Unhun Quadden has going for him, is he has more attack. Even Plasma's lowest stat is is 13 points higher than the lowest stat on Unhun Quadden, which is his speed. So, yeah. I'm not trying to be horrible, I don't dislike the unknowns, I think they can be good in certain situations, but unfortunately we've got clearly one with not very good IVs, and in brave nature, I don't see Unknown Quadrant seeing that much use. I'm not trying to be mean, he's just not very good right now. Unknown, unfortunately, is laughably weak when it's not a tip-top condition. Nothing much I can really do about that, I'm sorry. I will try, and hopefully we don't lose him, but there's nothing I can do if it happens. He's just, I don't think he can even take a hit. I mean, he might, he has got decent physical bolt. Although, to be fair, he has less physical bolt than Malib, which is a bit of a problem. <laughs> like, he hasn't got a single stat that in defense is higher than anyone else's, which is just sad. I'm so sorry, Unquad, and I hope you do well. I really do, buddy. And also, to you guys who basically chose this guy, I'll try my best. I will try my best, but I, I just don't see it working very well. But like we said, Metal Claw, Fly, Bone Club, Ice Punch, good moveset. He should be quite strong. Next, Sir Aaron, our Lucario. Uh, level 55 now, which is on par with, I believe, most of Flint's team. So that would make, yeah, basically I've gone for around about the level of Flint, so we're in the middle um, in terms of uh, the Elite Four, the third member of five that we're facing of the League. So, yeah, level 50, around about, you know, mid-50s, just to be on par, so like I said, we'll be higher than Aaron and Bertha, about the same as Flint, um, a little bit lower than Lucian, and a lot lower than Cynthia, but, uh, so we know Modest Nature... Uh, Steadfast has 151 special attack, has a really notable stat and 113 speed. Knowing Dragon Pulse, Psychic, Water Pulse, and Sacred Fire. I got rid of Spore because, simply because I didn't see the point in having it. It's a status move, I don't know if we need it. Plus, Water Pulse is Stab, and it's decently high powered, so it could be more useful. In fact, because of that, Really, we should give him a different item, because he has 100% accuracy across the board. He's not going to need the wide lens anymore. Uh, let's see, what do we have? What do we have? We get, uh, we have wise glasses, I think. That'd be quite useful. Uh, do we have wise glasses, or is that a different game? I'm thinking? I could be thinking of a different game, mind you, which... <laughs> uh, wise glasses? Oh, yeah, we do. We have wise glasses. So, yeah, Sir Aaron's going to be holding wise glasses. So, yeah. Like I said, uh, across the board, good moves. Dragon Pulse, base 100, 100 Dragon. Psychic, base 135 Psychic. 
water pulse base 75 fighting and sacred fire base 125 rock it is physical so it's not going to benefit from, from the boys glasses but it is the second most powerful move on sir Aaron. so it should work out quite well next up obviously we saw we have plasma our rotom frost who well i mean he's really just a normal rotom with a different form i think it, i don't know if it changes the base stats i'm not sure about that but yeah, this is, he's in the frost form because it got in Blizzard. Because changing him to the form and changing him back made him lose Blizzard, which was a bit of a problem. So yeah, he has Blizzard. He has the he's holding the Wild Lands Jolly Nature, so he's very fast. Unfortunately, that does lower his special attack, but it's still its higher stat. As Levitate now knows Guillotine Vacuum Wave. I got rid of Grass Knot for Vacuum Wave because priority is always good, and it's base 90 Psychic, so it's pretty useful. Focus Miss and Blizzard. So that's the move set here on Plasma. I kept Guillotine. It's not the most useful move because we'll pre he's the lowest level on the team. He's pretty much going to be under leveled for the entire thing. But if we happen to get him leveled up a few times and he ends up being a higher level, it could be useful. You never know. Uh, next up, we have Sandwich, who's now level 57. Uh, oh, still holding her wide lens. Serious Nature. Pretty. Uh, her stats aren't the greatest. But she's more of a tank than anything, and I think she does quite well, because if she ever gets hit by a fire or ice, it's doing literally nothing. Um, grass and Electric will hurt like a... <laughs> but <laughs> besides that, now knows... It's actually moveset that hasn't changed. Avalanche, Superpower, Close Combat, and Sheer Cold. Uh, next up, we have Choco, who's now level 56. Still holding his Wide Lens. It's serious Nature again. Met in the Maniac Cave. Look at that beautiful attack and defense. Like... Choco hits hard. Again, moveset hasn't changed. I think he did try to learn Heal Bell, which really isn't useful. I think everyone tried to learn at least one move when leveling up, uh, except for Plasma. Not. I think Saran tried to learn something, but it wasn't good, so I didn't teach it. Uh, Plasma didn't try and learn anything, but he could learn Vacuum Wave by TM, so that was good. Um, I'm not sure what it is. I know Sandwich tried to learn something, but I'm not sure what it was. I don't think it was very good, though. It was a special move, I know that much. Um, what did you try and learn against that much? I have no idea. I'm not going to bother checking. There's no point. I, I decided it wasn't good for her, especially as... I mean, actually, her special attack's higher, but her moveset is physical, and I like her moveset, so the only thing I would have probably changed that was superpower, but it does hit quite hard, so... Yeah. Um, and finally, we have Malib. Level 55, still holding her amulet coin, which I'll probably change out for something else now because it's kind of pointless holding an amulet coin. This is the end of the game. Um, bashful nature. We've gone really unlucky with nature, as I'm going to be honest here. Um, 151 special attack. That is going to hit hard. Flash fire, 129 speed. Giga drain, Draco meteor, air cutter, and now psychic. Going into the Elite Four, uh, this is the last challenge. We don't need our TMs anymore. I decided to drop Surf for Psychic just because it is so much more powerful. Like, that is from 95 to 135 base power. Like, that, if, if Surf didn't one shot something, Psychic will have. So, that's basically just better. Uh, we should actually give you something different because there's no point in you holding that. I could give you the, um, the Wide Lens for. The mo what moves is it? You have a couple of moves that don't get me. Razor Claw for high crit ratio. Yes, all of the yes. Uh, there isn't much to give you, really. The problem is there's not a lot of... If I had another pair of wise glasses, that'd be good. Now nah, I think I'll give you the... Um, give her an, a wide lens, just so... Higher chance of landing... Draco Meteor, so basically Draco Meteor is now 100% accurate, and your card is 97, I think it goes up to. It's something ridiculous high, but, uh, wait, no, it's a 10% increase, so it's 99% accurate and over 100%, so that's good. So yeah, that's the move, that's the team. Um, first up is Aaron, so Malib really is our best opener. We don't have another Momon with a good, well, we have one on Quad and Fire type, but it's a Bug type person. Okay, but without further ado, after 13 minutes of waffling and introducing you to the rest of the team, it's time for the gauntlet. <sighs> Actually, how much money do we have? 88,000. Might as well spend the last of that getting some... Oh, no, wait, no, this is the person. What am I doing? 
60 hyper potions, 24. Get 10 more full restores. And we have a load of full pack. May as well just get a load more. No, we can't. 15 full restores and 10 more hyper potions. That's it all gone. There's no turning back now. Hello, good sir. Oh, let me confirm that you are qualified to challenge the Pokemon League. So, let's examine the gym badges you gathered from Sinnoh. Morgor City's Coal Badge, Eternity City's Forest Badge, Hardhome City's Relic Badge, Hailstone City's Cobble Badge, Astoria City's Fen Badge, Canalave City's Mine Badge, Snowpoint City's Ice School Badge, and Sunny Shore City's... <laughs> Sunny Shore City's Beacon Badge. <laughs> Sunny Shore City's Beacon Badge. Very well! Trainer, you've indeed collected all the gym badges of Sinnoh. Demonstrate the power that brought you here and go for glory! And that's what we're about to do as we step through this gate. Thank you, good sir. Let's do this. <sighs> Hello, Aaron. I'm going to face you as an equal, Aaron. Let's do this. Hello! Welcome to the Pokemon League! I'm Aaron of the Elite Four, it's good to meet you! Oh, I should explain, I'm a huge fan of bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon are nasty mean, and yet they're beautiful too. Would you like to know why I take on challengers here? It's because I want to become perfect, just like my bug Pokemon. Okay. Let me take you on! <sighs> Young Mega. Yeah, like I said, we are going to be over-leveled for the first part, for the first two people. But after we're done with... Um... Mm, Aaron and Bertha, we should be on par with um, Flint, Lucian, and lower than Cynthia, or somewhat. Anyway, with Giga Drain on a Yan Mega, I, eh, I think Yan Mega is pretty decent special defense, to be honest. Might take this. I don't know, though. And it is also Stab, but yeah, base 100, no, I didn't take it. Alright, that's good. I. We might have problems with some of the stuff on his team, but I'm not sure. Heracross. I'm gonna switch because flying would be better here. Uh, who has flying? Plasma does. That's that's all who has it. Plasma. Oh, Plasma's about to level up. I didn't pay attention to their experience when I was running them. I just kind of got them to the level I want them to be at. Right, Focus Blast. I'm afraid Heracross should not. I don't think you'll take this unless you have a Focus Sash that's four times effective. Base 120. <laughs> Special. Uh, I'm sorry, Heracross, buddy. You're such a cool Pokemon, but no, you're not taking that. This might just be a clean sweep for Aaron, because he is just a lot lower level than our team. But I didn't want to have anyone in the late 40s, because then they'd be really low level when we got to um, the rest of the Elite Four, and that would just make it a boring hit hitting against a brick wall challenge. It wouldn't even be a challenge, we'd literally just be smashing our heads against a brick wall, which wouldn't be fun. So, want to be on par with the later ones. Another Giga Drain. Ooh, Quick Attack. What type is that? Oh god. Oh god, no. No. Oh god. <sighs> so apparently Quick Attack is super effective on either Dark or Fire. I don't think we've ever been into Quick Attack, so I don't know what type it is. <laughs> it's... His Caesar normally has it, I think. Yeah, they don't have edit. They don't have random move sets just because of the way this works. So, like, I don't know what their move sets are. I haven't checked that. Vespaquen, Bug Flight, Rock would be good here. Sir Aaron, <laughs> let's hit it. Let's hit it with a Sacred Fire. Ah, level 50 Vespaquen. Ah. Apologies, I accidentally hit the volume on my uh, headset there, and it just jammed up. Uh, Sacred Fire. 
This looks so cool. I love the animation. Oh. Uh, uh, Vesk, I don't think you're taking that four times effective. Yeah, so that was essentially dealt, what, four times? Base 500? Yeah, not taking it. Drapion, Poison Dark. Ground would be best. We have Choco, we have Sandwich. Uh... The power of Choco shall be realized. Now, normally this thing, I think, just spams Acupressure, but... Aerial Ace. Uh, okay, that'll hit decently hard, but it's still physical. Avalanche is now a base two, 200, so this will hit, like, a truck. And it stabs, so that bumps up by another... yeah. Yeah, like I said, this was not... I didn't expect Iron to be difficult. I will now... I will now concede defeat, but I think you came here to see how great bug bar I can't beat this in time. Why do they put that after the thing? Because this thing just auto skips it, unfortunately. I lost with the most beautiful Pokemon and but, ugh, the most beautiful and toughest of the bug Pokemon. We lost because I wasn't good enough. That's it. Back to training camp. Let's hear it for me. No, that was wrong. Anyway, go on to the next room. Three trainers are, are waiting for you. They're all tougher than me. Yeah, but first we're going to heal up a little bit because... We sustained some injuries in that fight, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we don't have any more lemonade, so it's use of the last of the Booba Milks. There we go, everyone back up to full. Now, the ground type trigger. Unfortunately, I don't think we have a grass type across the board, which I will admit would have been very useful to have. We have electric, we have. No, not electric. It's ground, not water. Uh, we have water, um, but besides that, we don't have really. And we have ice, so we could do quite well. I think Sandwich is going to lead off against Bertha. She's kind of. I mean, close combat isn't great, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> like it lowers her defenses, which isn't good considering she's more of a tank. But if she, if I'm higher high 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 high, uh, high enough level, I can just. Uh, Spam Sheer Cool, which is a bit boring, but at the same time, it's just like, do I really want to lower my defenses? If she brings out something four times a week to water, I might go for I'll go for the close combat. Right, Bertha. I don't remember what her team is. She has a Powdon, she has a Whiskash, she has. Um. I don't know what else she has, actually. I, I know those two. Does she have a Rhyperior? She might have a Rhyperior. Anyways. Well, well, you're quite the adorable trainer, but you've also got a spine. <laughs> I'm Bertha. I have a preference for ground-type Pokémon. Well, would you show this old lady how much you've learned? <laughs> An elite for Bertha. Ah, she opens with the wish cash. Ah, that's why I remember that thing. Let's just see if we can land it. Oh, you got spe- That's a flying type move, so that's not so bad. That shouldn't do too much, to be honest. It's special hitting into sandwich here. Give it another go. We have a decently high chance of this landing, so... Oh my god, sandwich! Why are you blind? No, it's like 57% accuracy. It's not that high chance to land. Come on. I know I'm spamming sheer cold against this thing, but I don't have anything to hit it. Whiskash is the wall for me right now. Yes! Down it goes! Took a lot of unnecessary damage, but I really couldn't do anything because close combat was useless, avalanche was useless, and superpower was useless. It had to be sheer cold against that thing. Sandwich is now level 58. Nice. Okay, what's next? So we got if you now bring out the water type when I pretty much have to swap her heal. Yeah, she brings out the Rhyperior. What does Rhyperior normally have? It has Rock Wrecker, I'm fairly sure. Probably Earthquake. Um Mega Horn, I'd assume. Sandwich is my best bet, but is it safe to leave her in? 
I might need to actually have a quick look at this, because I'm not sure if she's... If it's a good idea leaving her in against Rhyperior. If it is, I will do it, but if it's not, I'm just concerned about this, because really, my only chance against Rhyperior is hitting it with four times effective. Even though it has... Is it Filter it gets as an ability? No, Solid Rock, that's what it is. Okay, you... <sighs> what? One second, things are getting in the way. Yeah, 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 whatever. Right. Yeah, I was right about it. It's moves her. <sighs> I've not run into. I know the. T yeah, I, I knew it's moves. It's Avalanche, Megahorn, Rockcracker, Earthquake. The only one I don't know the type of is Rockcracker. And that scares me. I'm gonna stay in. Because Megahorn is psychic and it's not very strong. Earthquake is poison and is base 80. Avalanche is gra is it's stab and base 100, but it's not super effective. So it shouldn't do too much. Rock Wrecker is the only one that scares me. has base 150. Well, actually, I don't know what type it is or what power it is. It could be absolutely useless for all I know. Right, we'll, we'll heal up Sandwich and we'll see what it goes for. It doesn't even have solid rocket disability, which is quite useful. It's actually lightning rod. I know I've looked this up, but I'm genuinely just I'm somewhat terrified of this thing. It went for avalanche. Okay. How much does that do? That's essentially base 150. Oh, that does way too much. No. I could deal with avalanche so easily by just swapping out to... Plasma or an Aquatic, but then I have nothing to hit it with. If I use... It depends on who's slower. I'm 58, it's 55, but it's Azumarill versus... Rhyperior. Azumarill isn't that fast, I'm gonna be honest, but Rhyperior is just a giant boulder, essentially. And that did enough damage that I'm... Uh, no, that did a, like 104, didn't it? Uh, uh, I, I need to just... I might just need to heal spam because I can't do much else right now. How much PP does Avalanche have? Is it 10 or 20? I know it's been edited, but how much does it have in this? I think it might be 10, actually. You're just gonna spam Avalanche, aren't you? Okay, what did that do? It did 109. No, it didn't. I did 99. Avalanche is 20 PP. Uh, let's see. 58. What's your speed right now? I mean, unless Rock Wrecker... No, he would have gone for Rock Wrecker by now if it was super effective. That kind of guarantees that it's not that. She, like, she would have gone for it. No, wait, I was looking at stats. 78 speed. You have the same speed as Choco right now. But yeah, you're genuinely slower normally. I need to switch out. Choco's my best bet. I should be able to take an avalanche better with Choco because it's it's not resisted, but he has higher defense. A lot higher defense, so. Oh, 84. That's still a lot. I don't take this I don't take the sandstorm damage now though. Let's go for an avalanche. Earthquake, that's poison, that's resisted. I wonder why he chose to go for earthquake there. I mean it's resisted. And now I get to get the avalanche off, which is now super effective and stab and base 200 without those boosts. That could be the end for this Rhyperior. Oh thank god, yes. See, I thought Chaco would be such a good choice for Rhyperior, but it's just been a problem. Oh my god. Who's she bringing in next? The Powdon. Again, it has Earthquake. An entire team besides uh, Whiskash has Earthquake, because our Whiskash is... Actually, it's mixed. I don't know why it has Earth Power instead of Earthquake. Um... Stone Edge, that's a fire type move. Crunch is ice. And yawn. Um, I 
Again, if I still had grass. So poison, ice, fire, and stasis. Sandwich is just perfect for this thing. I'll have to heal, but Sandwich is so much better for Choco. For Hippowdon, sorry, because like it can't do anything to Sandwich. Like It just doesn't have anything to hit her with. It has no stab. It has two moves that are resisted because of thick fat. Uh, in fact, one of them's four times resisted. And uh, the other one's just a kind of a not very strong poison move. Like, base 80 is alright. Yawn's the only problem, because if you put that in, besides... Yeah. I kind of thought it might try that. Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna go for the. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna land. I'm gonna try and land the sheer cold. Ah, missed. Well, yawn again. Sandstorm rages, and now Sandwich is going to sleep. I'll see what it goes for, but even with a crit, it can't KO. Like, I don't think any of its moves are strong enough, which is really good for me. <sighs> yeah, that didn't do very much. Sandwich woke up, went for sure cold, but it missed. Okay. If it didn't lower my defenses, I'd use close combat right now. And because it lowers defenses, it's just too risky. Because Earthquake will just start doing more and more damage. Oh my god, Sandwich, why? Sandwich. Girl, I need you to start landing these Sir Colds. It's 56% accurate. It's not the best, but it's better than nothing. We'll heal you up. But I'll take a turn to heal Choco while I'm doing this, because again, this, this Hippowdon just can't touch me. Which is quite good to have as a thing. I can just heal up Choco while I'm doing this. Because either Choco or uh, Unknown Quadrant is coming in for um, Gliscor, so let's heal up Choco. There we go, nice and full health, okay. This is, oh boy. No, 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 don't do that. Okay. Sheer cold? No, still asleep. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. He's just gonna keep spamming Earthquake. I think that has 20 PP. It's base AE AE, it's poison, and I think it has 20 PP. So, he can keep spamming it, but it won't last forever. Woke up, sheer cold, missed. Uh, this is annoying, just constantly missing. Ah. See, if it, if it were four times effective, I might be going for a close combat right now, because it would be stab at four times effective, but it's just not worth it, because the defense drops. If it didn't drop my defenses, it'd be good as well. Soon it like, what moment it runs out of Earthquake, this thing literally can't touch me, because it's got two moves that it can't hit me with. Or at least that don't really do anything to um, Sandwich, because of Thick Fat. I don't does what I think water might resist ice as well, so it is literally just they're both like 25% damage, which is ridiculously low. Oh thank god you finally landed it, sandwich. Well done, well done. Okay, that's good. That's good. Right, next up, she's either gonna send in Gliscor or go long. Like I said, I have looked her up. I knew she had a Gliscor, I wasn't sure what it up on was, but Golem makes sense. My score of Golem, who's coming in? Golem, that's actually good for me. I've run into the moves it has before, I don't think any of them can touch me. Uh, Thunder Punch is ground, Earthquake is poison. What type was Fire Punch? I know we've had it before. It's not Ghost, is it? It's not, it's not Grass, it's not Electric. It's not fire. It wasn't, it wasn't steel. No, I don't think it was steel. Um, or was it fire fang we ran into before? No, yeah, it was fire fang we ran into because that was flying type. 
Ooh, fire punch could be a problem actually. Let's see what close combat. Uh, yeah, let's see what close combat does. That's four times effective. It's stab. It's base eight five. So like that should hit quite hard, even though it's an Azumarill. Yeah. <laughs> if huge power would have been so helpful. Though. Thunder punch. That's ground type. That's not going to do much. Stab. It's actually quite high base power, but I just lowered my defenses. Oh god. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm healing before I do anything else because I'm way too low health and I don't know what this thing's holding. It could be like if it probably not holding any. Oh no, it's not holding anything. But heal up. Let this thing hit me with another move. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'll let it hit me with another move. Fire punch. What type is that? Okay, it's neutral. I don't know what it is, but it's neutral. Okay. No, didn't even do that. There we go. That will KO because it's nothing changes except the defenses for close combat. Nice. Birth is even though we're over level, Birth is giving us trouble. Okay. Last but not least, we have Glyscore. Switch. Choco or Unanquada. They both have a move that can hit this thing for four times. They both have fly. I don't. It doesn't have anything that's super effective, but that doesn't really matter. It's a fucking unknown. <laughs> um, Fire Fang, Thunder Fang, Ice Fang, and Earthquake. I don't know what types all those are. Earthquake, Poison, a uh, Fire Fang is flying, I'm fairly sure. What was Ice Fang? I know we've seen it before. I don't remember what it was. I know we've seen it before, but I can't remember what type it was. Like, I think someone in the PC has it. Uh... Let's give him a chance. He has a four times effective. <sighs> I'm gonna regret this. I know I'm gonna regret this. Come on in on Quadin, you can do this, buddy. Show this Glyscore who's boss. Firebang, I don't know what type that is. It's not super effective. He got the 10%. He got the 10%! Ah! I can't risk it now. See, if I got on the fly off, it might have been worth it, but I can't risk it now. I have to swap. I'm sorry, buddy. You tried. You did good. You tried. Choco. I don't know what type that move is, though. Fire... No. Fire Fang is a flying type. Thunder Fang is resisted. I don't know what type it is, but it's resisted. It might be rock. What does ground resist? Poison. Rock. I believe ground. Possibly not. Fly. Fire Fang, that's flying. That won't do very much, but you might get- You didn't get either the 10% that time. Okay, that's good. Fire Fang missed. Fly. That's four times effective, but Glyscore has really good defense. Nah, he's not taking it. Okay, we're good. Oh, and Quadrant, you tried. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you, buddy. I'm sorry you couldn't do more, but the 10%, there's nothing I can do about that. You're quite something, youngster. I like how you and your Pokemon earned the win by working as one. That's what makes you so strong. <laughs> I think that you can go as far as you want. That Our team took a battering against Bertha. She, ooh, she did well. Let's heal up and get ready for Lucian. However, of course, that's the end of this part. We've taken on Aaron, we've taken on Bertha, and that's how you guys wanted it, so that's the end of this part. With our team healed up and ready to move on to the next member of the Elite Four, I'd like to thank you for watching. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers for new.